I'm a true champion All right, so we're in the living room and looking like this corner is where we're going to set up everything. The only thing I'm considering not setting up is uh, the trash unit itself. I'm going to put it in the kitchen next to the trash cans. I think that'll be a better place to put it, you know, in terms of sanitation and dust stuff like that so we're getting everything ready now let me get this set up so wall mount usually i go pretty bananas and say i'm gonna grab my laser level and get the laser level and laser it up we're going classic today we're going classic all right so want to find our point so looking like right around here judging this has got to be a beam also i would usually bring my stud finder but found already no i'm kidding I'm not kidding but stud finders are great because you don't want to go drilling holes in your drywall and creating havoc on your beautiful walls that I <laughs> I painted. Now, you wanna find the best positioning for your unit to make sure that it doesn't overhang or is too close because we do have the heating along the base, baseboard heating. So you wanna make sure that it's at a decent place where the children can reach it because they have work to do. And it isn't bothering anyone or isn't in the way of anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab pencil and I'm going to make sure that it's level. Now, if you know how to use the level, good. If you don't, go learn. This is not that video. But you want to make sure that that little green, little green monster is dead center. Okay, so... Okay, right there. So I'm just getting some marks on there that I can easily wipe off before I have any trouble. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get set to make my hole. So indent, and then indent. So what that does for us, what is this Phillips? That does for us is get us ready with a sort of guide for when we start the drilling. Got to get to drilling. All right. So I'm using the handheld screwdriver. If you don't have one, get one. One of the best purchases I made. Okay. Then for this, we do have anchors. So you want to drill a pilot hole and then slide your anchor in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bam, bam, a lemon ding dong. Then you want another pilot hole for the second mounting point. So that second pilot hole, bam. And then you want to put Second screw, and then you want to get started. This generally doesn't take too long. Mm. 
You want to pop your bad boy on top and make sure it's still flush. Dead center. Hold on. Maybe I could bring this bad boy over. So you want to make sure that your ball is dead center. Not your ball, but you know what I mean. Dead center. Now, let's see. Get this back assembled and set it up. Personally, I'm interested to in seeing how it holds, how it sits. I'm going to plug the charger in as well, which I probably was supposed to do first. If I remember correctly, I legit think I was supposed to plug the charger in first. Of course, I had to plug right here, of course. So, made a little boo-boo. I'm going to have to take this down. I was supposed to run the wire from behind it. And the funny thing, when I read the manual, I actually saw that. But of course, rushing. Put us here. So we're going to get this set up. I'm actually going to come closer so you can take a look at how you're supposed to run it. So it gets plugged in right up here. And then that is the ore the way it was recommended. Was up. I think I should. I should definitely. I should definitely read the manual. But um. Oh yeah, we're gonna go with it like that. Bam. Have it like this. And then it's hung down. And then mounted onto the wall. Yeah, so same thing. Same rules apply. Let's get this remounted. Before I fully mount it, I am going to test to make sure that it charges. Before I. Yep, so the blue LED light is blinking. So, noise. Let this let's get this bad man jammer back up here. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now pop right on. I don't really like these anchors. I might have to get thicker anchors. Kind of more heavy duty, but because this has happened before, I purchased things and then the anchors weren't as strong as, yeah, as strong as they're supposed to be. So there's that, but nonetheless, we'll work with it. We shall overcome. All right, bam, so it sits well, not too high up, perfect positioning, looking good, attachments go on the bottom, Dyson had the same thing going on, again, it doesn't hold everything, so you're not going to have every attachment perfectly placed, but what you can do, because Put the extendo with the elbow and have the elbow hooked here. So bam, I'm gonna give you guys a closer look. So see it's charging. Well, it has dual side 
LED so you can see what's going on. And down below, we have our spots for attachments here. So you see what's going on here with the attachments on both sides. So I'm going to put it back together and then I'm going to do a test and see how it, you know, sucks things up. So I had some old coffee grounds that I'm going to drop here and we're going to see how Samsung picks it up. See, close up. Locked and loaded, ready to go. I just kicked it by mistake. Sorry. Not bad. Let me see minimum. See if it still manages to get it. Let me give you guys a little zoom in action over here. Okay. Pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Almost lost. Almost lost it all. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to test out the disposable guy thing. Okay. We're going to see what that's like. I'm going to set it up in the kitchen and we're going to test it. All right. So we're in the kitchen. I'm gonna get this bad boy plugged in. We're gonna see what's up. So quite similar to the vacuum, this gets snaked through and then placed up here. So I'm gonna plug it in first and then I'll feed it through which in the past I've always found a lot easier than trying to feed it through and then plugging it in. All right, so set this bad boy down. I had to move the trash can over a little bit just to get it, give everything some space. So we're gonna grab the vacuum, pop it open, and we're gonna see how it cleans it out. All right, so we have our vacuum. I don't know if you can really see, but there's some particles in this little dock in here, sorry. It's a little dark. So, as per the instructions, I'm going to pop this bad boy off. Set this bad boy up to the side. Now, another thing, when you're setting your vacuum down, make sure it's at a good place where it's level. And, or at least set it down on the ground flat, which is what I'm going to do now instead of standing it up. Because that is also why the Dyson broke. Because it was dropped many times. I can almost count how many times... My daughters, including myself, and my wife has dropped it before, so I'm not even going to say that. So, first thing we do is push. Push down on this guy here. Push down on... Push down on... Push down on... Now, let me stop. All right, let me back up a little bit here. Hold on. Okay, push down on this guy here. Second step, let me get us some light here. Second step, it tells us to put this upside down. But does it, is this filter supposed to be up here? I don't know. Bear with me while I remove the filter. So let me set you up right here. Hold on. All right, so this, huh? Is this, am I doing this right? Read your manuals. All right, so I have this piece out and everything like this. As you can see, coffee grounds in the bottom. Whoa, whoa, I see what I've done. Okay, I see what's going on here. So I'm going to pop this bad boy back on, get this closed, and I think I might understand it now. Boom. I got this now. Now, 
The base, that's why the base is different than the other one. Sit this here. There is some up here, but that, that's because of me. I know that. And it cleans it. And it cleans it. And it cleans it. So I know that I do have to clean that upper portion where I messed up initially. But aside from that, it does take everything out. I'm going to flip it to give you a good look. It does clean everything out. There's minor particles in there, but that's this, these are coffee grounds. These are coffee grounds. I am going to clean the rest myself in depth, but I think the functionality of it is cool. See the coffee grounds in there, right there. I like it personally. This is first use, and I do have a, a, a lot more experience with the Dyson, but we'll see how this goes. Thank you for tuning in again. Any comments, any suggestions, anything you know about this vacuum, if you own it, that you may be able to suggest or any good pros and cons that you may have, any pros and cons that you may have, any good reviews, bad reviews, anything that you know, a, another competitive vacuum that's better, drop it in the comments. Let us know what you guys think. Till next time. I'm a true champion.